Hi, Scorpio. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color, and this is your reading for the month of April. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Um, I offer private readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality. Um, please become a member. Uh, membership is $2.99 a month. It gives you access to the videos, which are basically weekly video on the energy of the week. You know, that's um, uh, organized by sign. And I, um, Mexico is like New York, okay? So people are like, oh, I like New York. You never really hear anyone saying, I like New York. You love New York or you hate New York. You don't really like New York. Like, oh yeah, it's a nice place to go. Yeah, oh, it's like going to the park. Mexico is kind of the same. So I love it and I hate it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that's really different. You mentioned that this apartment, you know, I really like this apartment. It's really comfortable in really a lot of ways. Um, you know, the internet just keeps on locking me off. So uh, I wish I'd had all these videos done, I don't know, three hours ago. Yeah. And hopefully I won't get cut off. I say. And when I do get cut off, it's like that wasn't the reading I was supposed to get. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. It's doing something now. And I think it's going to cut me the fuck off. Which is fine, because this is not a great reading. All right. The end of something. The end of an addiction. The end of a false path. You intuitively know what's going on. You intuitively, you got it. You got the, you got the, the download. Something is dead so that something new is born, right? end of the way of thinking that uh, that was toxic to you, right? And here comes this, she's not only the intuitive empath, but she's also the, you know, she's the loving mother. She's the loving mother. It's almost like, you know, you go to mommy and you say, um, this and this happened. And, you know, you cry to mommy and mommy says, I know. I know, because mommy already knew. And she loves you anyway. You know, she allowed you to make your own mistake. That's what it is. It's almost like she allowed you to find out on your own why you don't go to this neighborhood or find out on your own why, you, whatever it is, okay? A little bit like that. Yep, your lesson has been learned. It's really interesting. Your lesson has been learned. You've incorporated it completely and utterly and totally into your body, Scorpio. Congratulations. I, I'm really feeling very Scorpio in this reading. And because it was learned and because it was um, incorporated, sort of it's become part of you now, you're going to be able to hear things intuitively. It, you know, it's almost like, on your way toward getting into a similar situation, like on your way, on your way out of the door, you know, they're going to say, "Just sit and observe this one," because if you know, we don't want to do a replay, do we? Like, oh. yep, willing self-sacrifice, a willing self-sacrifice in order to grow spiritually to grow in light to grow in light i want to say it like that so you know a lot of people it's like yeah, spiritual so i don't curse and you know everyone is loving light and fuck yourself <clears throat> all right we are bodies of light, living on the earth plane in a physical body. And, uh, 
you know, this spiritual thing. It's our light quotient. So we all hold a lot of light, but we can all be brighter. We can all be brighter. And it's about intent. It's about intent to, to shine a brighter light. And the brighter light um, emanates love and understanding and generosity and kindness and all the things that are lovely. So, and you know, sometimes I have to give up or I'm forced to give up or circumstances push me toward giving up or letting go of things that don't hold light. And it's, if it's not holding light for me, then it's not holding light for people around me either. And the more light that all of us shine, the better off the earth will be and the better off our lives will be, in my humble opinion. All right, look at the light. It's, I mean, it's got a halo over it. It's got a halo. Okay? This is a human with a halo. It's you. Making a willing self-sacrifice in order to grow, in order to evolve. Intuition. This is like intuition 101. You know, I could read this as um, what they call it, illusion, but I, I don't think so. Not with the hanged man here, not with judgment here. I don't, I don't think so. I think that that's the beginning of the reading. That's done. Okay. The strategy to move forward. I really like him. He's fun. <laughs> the divine feminine ministering to you in order to um, have your power directed in a way that's best for you and for everyone around you. Taming of the beast, you see? It's the taming of the beast. So this could either be, this could be both actually. You know, somebody said, it's like, well, you know, you have to read the card this way and you have to read the card that way. It's like cards don't work like that. The world doesn't work like that. Um, so, you know, this is really about meeting, you know, this is like a what this is the love card, one of the great love cards, even more so than the lovers in love. So, uh, you know, this is really about meeting somebody who has the same, that's offering their heart in the same, in the same manner and with the same dignity and with the same, uh, I don't know, coming from the same space and offering their heart, they're offering their heart, blah, 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 blah. right? So that's that. It's all, and it's human. There's also this sense of meeting one's own self, meeting one's own higher self, right? Meeting one's own and being in touch with and incorporating one's own higher self of this peace and part of ourselves that almost watches over it. It's our guardian angel, basically. You know, it, but it's not just their guardian. I don't know what the hell it is, but whatever it is, it's like, This understanding of, it's almost like it sees the bigger picture of the loving being, the light being that we are. And it, and it encourages and heals and uh, supports us. So not only are we being ministered to by it, but we're also meeting it and saying, it's almost like you're saying to yourself, um, I'm really trying my best here, and I really would like this to come to pass. And her herself says, I can see you're trying your best, and I and I'm I'm helping you to help to help it come to pass. Cool. Cool. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Yeah, here more healing, more, more love, but it's um and it, it's like an active principle of it. Is an act because this is action, the active principle of soothing oneself, of being soothed, of being open to receive love, of open to receive gifts and soothing and healing and intuition. Yeah, great. I'm not gonna go on from here because he's good. <laughs> so this is the magician, a really, really powerful card. It's the one, it's the leader. It's the one who has all the tools that he needs to manifest what he wants. 
And I always get this lightning bolt energy here, this diagonal, which cuts through. It's interesting because I talk a lot on this card a lot. I talk about the vertical and the horizontal and the vertical being symbolizing spirit, the horizontal symbolizing this plane, the earth plane. That's what the cross is really about. And then the diagonal, which is like a shortcut. You know, you look at a map of a city and then there are certain um, avenues. I mean, you know, pretend there's no traffic and you know, you're the only one driving on the road. You know, you want to get from here to there. You want to get from that part of the city to that part of the city, right? So, you know, it, both, a lot of cities are set laid out. And great, you go like that, or you go like that. But it's like, if there's a diagonal, it's like I'm like a diagonal. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to cut through. And that's what's going on here. It's almost like spirit, there's no filter, right? Of spirit creating, you're attaching to it, becoming like a, um, what do they call it? Not a lightning rod. The thing that catches the lightning, right? Like whatever that is. And, you know, bringing it from heaven to earth, zoom, instantaneous. And the other interesting thing about this is that the, um, the eternity symbol only shows up twice in the deck. We have them both. We have them both. So it's like this whole energy that's coming through in April of this, uh, this false path that's being shed and this illumination that's being experienced and this um, strength that's gonna be accessed is um, almost, I don't really wanna, I hate word, I hate that one. It's almost pre-written, it's almost uh, destined. That's the way it kind of feels, because these are kind of a big reading, you know, kind of a big reading, actually. Not a painful one, though. Not a painful one. Yes, adios. So I had to go through another one, Charlie. Okay. I started here, there. And then I, I'm not trying another card. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Blessings. Blessings. See you soon.